At age 54, she's had 145 careers and too many outfits to count. We're into Barbie! We're into Barbie! Dr. Barbie. Barbie is one of the most popular toys on the planet, worth billions to her owner, Mattel. And we're here. Of course, Mattel is known for a lot more than Barbie. And yes, that is a bone shaker Hot Wheels hot rod I'm riding in. Eat your heart out. Ready? Let me hold the wheel. Would for you, you please? Yeah. Executive Vice President Tim Kilpin took me for a behind the scenes tour of Mattel's El Segundo, California fun factory. We have our marketing and our design, packaging, engineering people all here under one roof and all. Walk inside this dream house and feel like a kid again. He Man, Fisher Price. Uno, the magic eight ball. So much to see and hear. Just pull the ring. You never know what she'll say next. Tell me a story. There's a chemistry lab where scientists make, what else? Slime. If designers have an idea for a new toy, well, they'll just order it up on a 3D printer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's, wow. It's out of the ooze. <laughs> There's a department just for doll hair. I just push out the pedal on the bottom and I am sewing wow. her hair. And just around the corner, the Hot Wheels garage. Oh my gosh. So one loop is back in car. Whoa! It's a mini Detroit with its own car designers, like Alec Tam. Um, I had been in the car industry for a little bit of time after graduating from college, and it wasn't that fun. And when I got here, I get to design whole cars, and they're all different. It's not always a minivan. A Hot Wheels minivan has a jet engine on it. They are the fastest metal cars you've ever seen. To judge from the ads, the audience for these toys hasn't really changed. Yeah! Which new racing cars will blow away the competition? Something like Hot Wheels is clearly being marketed to boys, and something like Barbie is obviously being marketed to girls. Do you ever get any kind of pushback about gender stereotyping. Oh, sure, we have people ask us, why don't we have a, a girl in a Hot Wheels commercial? The truth is the majority of kids playing are boys. Just Brian Stockton is Mattel's CEO. We met him for tea at the American Girl Store Cafe. This is really all about the girl creating a doll that looks like her or her best friend. At about 100 bucks a doll, the stores are a huge money maker for Mattel. This store has its own hospital and hair salon. Okay. There you go. Enjoy the rest of your day. You're welcome. It's all a long way from Mattel's humble roots in a garage. In 1945, Ruth and Elliot Handler started a small picture frame business out of it. But things changed quickly. We had some slats of wood left over. Elliot looked at the slats of wood. He says, we can make dollhouse furniture. Soon, Mattel was in the toy business and inking deals with Dr. Seuss and Disney. Then, in 1959, enter Barbara Millicent Roberts. Barbie, you're beautiful. You make me see. My Barbie doll is really real. Keeping this baby boomer up to date is the job of designers like Robert Best and Evelyn Mazzocco. I actually came to Mattel from the fashion industry, New York City. Yeah. So it could have been House of Chanel instead of House of Barbie. Exactly. I, yeah. The only difference is we're working at 11 and a half inch scale. Mattel has been the number one toy maker for 19 years. The train. The train. But as we saw in this play pattern observation group for Thomas and Friends, yes, Mattel owns that too, kids aren't always easy to read. <laughs> no, 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 that's called vandalism. <laughs> And they have more choices than ever before, says BMO Capital Markets toy analyst Garrick Johnson. The way kids play hasn't changed much over the generations, but there are a lot more options. There are a lot more digital options out there, a lot of free options. I'd say that's probably the biggest thing right now is we're in an era of free digital entertainment. Dance to the ghoulish tunes, plug in your music too. Which brings us to Monster High, a doll line featuring the kids of famous monsters going through high school. It's a billion dollar brand, and to introduce it, Mattel went right to tweens screens. When we first launched this, we did a music video that we put on YouTube, and then that led us to the website that had weather soaps on it. So as a kid, you're just thinking, wow, here's this neat story. 
I right. had no idea that there's right. a toy right. associated with the it. The message to girls was, go meet these characters on the website. And then, lo and behold, the doll is available. Right, right. Almost every Mattel brand has its own storyline that kids can find online. I want to put together the perfect outfit for my date with Ken. It's our 43rd anniversary. A Barbie reality series. Let's go! A Hot Wheels movie. The idea? Storylines that drive customers every month to store shelves. What cars will you drive? Before we left, there was one more thing Mattel wanted to show us. It was top secret until now. Boy, this is gonna be big. This better be good. This, I think you're gonna like this, all right? Is it for a boy or a girl? Well, I think it's for everybody of all ages. Ooh, okay. This is, this is special. This is unique. Are you ready? This is the Mo Rocca doll. Best friend of Barbie. 